Hey, what's up everybody? Scotty here. Welcome back to another episode of Hardware Reviews. This time we're actually going to compare, instead of just kind of doing a normal review of what we norm, um, have done in the past. Uh, a while back in one of my videos, I honestly couldn't tell you which one because I'm approaching 700 videos now. Um, I mentioned I picked up a Samsung 750 Evo. This is the 120 gigabyte edition. And it, it worked out a lot better than my Transcend. And you can see the, the, the review of the Transcend right here. Or here, here, or wherever. <laughs> and recently, well I wouldn't say recently, I would say maybe a couple months ago, my Western Digital hard drive, just straight hard drive, not a little SSD like this, it started acting funny. And I, at the time, really needed another hard, uh, hard drive because my video collection from all the recordings was building up and there's a lot of games that I had to do and mods and programs, etc, etc, etc. So I picked up an Samsung 850 Evo. This is the 250 gigabyte edition. What we're going to do is compare these two. Um, visually, let's get a closer look in on there. Hopefully you can see that. But here's the 850. Visually, this little metal case looks exactly like the 750. You're going to pay more for the 850 than the 750. But, I mean, you're, you're not paying for what's on the outside. You're paying for what's on the inside. So, I will compare what Samsung has officially released on the websites, what's the difference between the two, and also do performance tests to prove which one is faster. Of course, we already know which one is going to be faster, but the question is, should you buy it? All right, we'll see you. Starting with the Samsung 750 Evo, Samsung retails this for about $55. You could probably get this cheaper from a wholesaler, on eBay or Amazon or from some tech website <clears throat> of course these are kind of old so it shouldn't be a problem getting these cheaper um, the main thing to really pay attention to is the memory speed while we're comparing this to the 850 now these uh, 750 Evos they do go all the way up to 500 gigabytes from what we're looking at right now and what as the as the hardware as the hard drive storage increases, so does the memory. Like I said, the one the one we're looking at is only 250 meg 250 megabytes uh, DDR3, um, but this goes up to 512 with the 750 500 gigabyte, and this is this is quite pricey. 150 for half terabyte SSD, but I mean this is just retail from Samsung again you there's a very high chance you can get this cheaper next with the 850 this has a little bit more variety to choose from compared to the 750 starting at 120 gigabytes going all the way up to 4 terabytes specifically the model that I have the MZ 75E 250 has double the cache memory than the 750 at 512 megabytes as the sizes increases you can get one hundred. You can get one gigabyte, two gigabyte, and four gigabytes with the specific sizes. Now let's take a look at the benchmark test. Here's where things get a little interesting. When we take a look at the 750, you can see that sequential read is at a benchmark test of 521 megabytes per second and a write speed of 495. The IOPS is little over 49,000 and the random write is almost 46,000. When we take a look at the 850, the sequential read is 526 and the sequential write is 497. Random read for the IOPS is a little over 48,000 while the IOPS write is halfway between 46,000. Now this is where you got to ask yourself, What's the difference? As an added bonus, I'll throw in the benchmark results 
on both of these hard drives using Rapid, which is unique to Samsung, where it utilizes some of the computer's RAM into the SSD, further increasing its speed. Now we're down to the million dollar question. Which one should you buy, the 750 Evo or the 850? We've seen the benchmark results between the two, and they are almost the same. Yes, they are almost the same. However, there's a warranty difference between the two. The 750 has a three-year warranty. The 850 has a five-year. So clearly, the 850 is going to last a lot longer. Going back to the original question, again, which one should you buy? It matters down to how much money you want to put into these SSDs. If you're going very budget, definitely go for a 750. But if you want something to last, get your absolute money's worth, go for the 850.